Welcome Galactic Family. May the blessings of love bring peace to their bodies, minds and hearts. Dear children. When we carry the weights that consciousness brings as a baggage of traumas, pains and old behaviors, we take longer to cross the line that separates us from the great mountain of wisdom. These weights keep us from reaching higher levels on our journey of spiritual pursuit. And so, when we let go, we also let go of a pattern of repetition that we had been bringing in that told us that there is no point in trying because we were not able to reach our dreams. What separates you from your dreams, dear children? There is nothing that separates them, beyond the expectation created as a possible materialization of their own happiness, but built on the molds of these ancient traumas and fears. We know that they seek their own liberation and walk free by this plan, doing only what they love. But see that the possibilities that materialize for this to occur are those that represent the escape of experiences. And you do not understand that every transformation happens gradually, as you yourself are able to open to new truths and are prepared to deal with them. Dear beloved children, Today you walk on suffering roads only because that is how you decided to observe them, even if they are beautiful roads of learning and elevation in light. What keeps you from living this moment in peace and attentive to every learning that comes to you, is the great burden you carry of traumas, pains and judgment of your own ability to be happy and savor happiness in the present moment. You need to get rid of that way of taking your days, which shows you that you are not able to be fully happy as you are. This detachment will only come with the full release of the old packages of information from the experiences that have gone away, and which serve no more than your advance, for the wisdom gained is bound up in your consciousness, your soul library, your cosmic record. You do not need to carry these traumas, these fears for they no longer exist in your level of consciential awakening. On this level you occupy, children, you only carry the weight of the physical body, but only so that you continue to live the present experience, but without bringing along the baggage of events occurred in the past. Open yourselves lightly to the new, abandon all that is gone that is not part of the past and that you still carry and materialize as fear. This fear, children. It is only exposed and manifested when in contact with the repeated situations of the past that made them suffer. You walk through life for a long time without being aware of this fear rooted in your being. For they did not have the opportunity to face the repeated situation that would cause fear to be exposed again. You have walked in that interval of time, acquiring more wisdom, balance and inner peace, and thereby extending a new light of hope so that, in the face of new experience that will rescue the sphere of the past, you can transmute it, walking on the waters as did my beloved son in his passage as Jesus did. Walking on the water is the symbology that shows them how to overcome fear. Ah yes you are able to walk on the waters of the troubled sea of life, and yet remain in your peace, but only when you make your bodies light, leaving the heavy packages behind. How could they cross the sea on the waters if they carried such a heavy burden? Is it possible to just sink, are not my beloved children? So dear children, perceive the beauty of the opportunity before you where you learn to leave the packages behind, and which are those that prevent you from walking on the waters and joining the most supreme and beautiful aspect of your to be. Extend this loving hand of opportunity and charity to yourselves, allowing yourself to just be what you are in peace and calmness within your heart. Choose to be light and walk on the waters of your greatest fears proving through this experience that fear no longer exists in you. I will be with you on this journey, extending my protective mantle and enfolding you in my love. I am Maria, your mother.